Hi guys, it's the Phoenix here, and today is the 22nd of October 2019. Yes, it's that time of year again, the time of year I unboxed a new WWE game. Yes, this year is WWE 2K20, and the collector's edition is the 20th edition of SmackDown, because um, SmackDown is 20 years old. And I'm going to share the experience with you like I do every single year. Now, before we begin, um, I just want to uh, set the record straight that uh, apparently when I do these videos, apparently I drink too much. So I am going to not touch a single drop and stay absolutely sober throughout this entire video. So pay no attention whatever is in this non-see-through cup right here because it is just mounting to I'm going to get myself a little pick me up see cool refreshing mounting to uh. Carry on. So let's get dive into um, the new game. Now, I'm actually quite excited for this game because finally, one of the main features they're bringing back to the game is the online lobby. So this is what a lot of people have been wanting since the game started coming out on the uh, one. Because it's basically going back to the roots of the 360, where where in 360 you could actually have great lobbies where you could actually you know socialize. And, and actually, you know, get to know people or chat with people. Because on the one, the current games up to, what, 2K19 are based on online anyway, are basically just random, you know, random pairings. And the problem with that is, is that you, you can't really find, you know, any decent matches outside of 1v1s. I mean, you can queue up for triple threat matches, you can queue up for tag team matches, but to be honest, nobody really finds them because, like, everyone just does 1v1s because no one's sure what's going on whereas if you have lobbies you can see pretty much what's going on and i'm quite excited for that i know other people and my clan are quite excited to that so that is one of the things i'm going to be testing out and hopefully oh, pardon me. <laughs> that is one of the things i'll be testing out and hopefully um oh might see you there so uh, that would be quite a challenge. Um, now, carrying on, um, one of the other features on this game, which I'm quite uh, curious about, I should say, is the online co-op. Now, obviously they have like, you know, basic story modes and everything else like that, but the online co-op? Uh, not much has been said about that. I've quite tried to look it up, but not much has really been talked about online. So I'm very interested to see how that's going to play out. Are you going to do like story modes of three, you know, or is it literally just going to be a set of like online triple um, 3v3 tag team matches? Who knows? But I am very keen to see what that is about. Now, as excited as I was for getting the, you know, collector's edition like I was, I've got to say I'm a little bit disappointed because of the size of the actual box. Now, I've had these box sets for quite, well, a few years now, going back to 2K17, and I just think they're a little bit on the small side. I mean, if I can pair the ones from the previous year, so there's 17, there's 18, there's 19, you can see that they're all quite big, and they and the SmackDown one is kind of small compared to the rest of them. I feel like they're getting smaller. Like, what's happened to the figurines that you would get inside of them each year? I mean, it feels like for 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 what over a hundred bucks or 
pounds, wherever you're from, you're paying out for, like, the things that come with them, like, like the figurines and all, all the extras and the bonuses, but this shit, it just feels like it's, it's, you know, a bit of it, like, anticlimactic, I suppose. I'm having a funny feeling that this is probably going to be my last year doing these. I mean, mostly because look how small it is. I mean, I may not even get the box set for ne next year if it's going to be even smaller than this. Because what's the point in shelling out what, over £100 for this sort of thing? I'd rather just get the, the uh, digital or the uh, deluxe edition on disc. So... We'll see, we'll see. If they have to offer something better, then maybe I will go get a box set for 2K21, but we'll see. Anyways, without further ado, because I know apparently I take too long in doing these, let's dive into what's actually in this box. So, as we read in the back of it, it states that it is... Includes a 2K20 Deluxe Edition, which includes 2K20 Smackdown 20th Anniversary Edition Playable Superstars, all WWE 2K Originals, the Accelerator Pack, and the My Player Kickstart Pack. Pretty much everything that has in every year. Uh, difference is, for this year, they got exclusive Smackdown Ring Skirt Relic piece from 2002 to 2008. Uh, limited Edition WWE Smackdown Legend Autograph Plaque. And the exclusive WWE Supercard bonus content that they give away every year. So basically, this is just a basic, this is just a basic box set. So let's open it up and see what it's about. And I'm very keen to see this because when I went to my local game store, um, I was supposed to get a uh, steel book, but apparently, when I, I thought I, I, you, you get when you pre order it, because I pre ordered this one. And apparently it's supposed to be inside the box. So I'm quite keen to see if it is. If not, I think I've already uh, we tweeted them that they may possibly have a spare. So I may go down to there after I've done this and, you know, bitch and complain. <laughs> uh, so let's, in further ado, and open the box. That's actually, and this shit, being the smaller box, it's actually fairly easy to open. See, see, look, I'm just literally just pulling it off the side. Where well, normally, in the past years, I've had to be, like, very careful about tearing these boxes. Because I don't want to end up tearing the box, otherwise it's absolutely pointless me using them. Okay, so, oh. Like, the, uh, like I think this is enough edition one. It's slide. Oh, shit. Maybe I should push. There we go. Uh, slides off. Now, I do like the back of this and the front, I suppose, whichever way you want to call it. it. Has, you know, various pictures of various superstars over the 20 years of SmackDown. Uh, as you can see, obviously, the main stars Stone Cold Steve Austin, Rock, Hulk Hogan, Edge, John Cena. And on the other side, you got Riley Piper, Triple H, Undertaker, if you can possibly see it. Um, I thought I saw somebody on... <laughs> I thought that looked especially like a picture of somebody that we really... That most people don't actually talk about, I mentioned. I realised it was AJ Styles. But, uh, yeah. So it's pretty much the main main superstar and it's completely all the way around this box i mean look you know people like trish Stratus on top and literally all the way see around the box so i do like that that's pretty dope all right so let's dive into opening the box so let's drink so here's where the tag part comes where you're just trying to get inside the box but Tear things. Oof. There we go. So let's slide this down. 
And there we go. So here is the deluxe edition, the 2K20. With obviously the cover area models being Becky Lynch and Roman Reigns. I guess Becky Lynch wasn't good enough to put on the cover by herself. Oh. And what else is inside here? Anything else? Okay, so here we go. one let's see what's in this oh. ah, I hate when they do this they put them in to peel off the little sticker on the end of it there we go all right so let's open this up and this, I'm guessing, is of that, the SmackDown Authentic Ring Skirt Piece 2002-2008. Apparently this is number 12,735 out of three, oh sorry, 30,000, sorry, 30,000. Right, and this one. So, if anyone does have collectors, uh, the Edition, it'd be interesting to see which one you got. I obviously got the time when Brock Lesnar uh, suplexed the big show through the ring. I think that was back in 2003, possibly. It was the first time the ring collapsed when they did the suplex off the top rope. So, that's interesting to have. And obviously, you get that teeny tiny bit of the ring right there. And moving on, moving on. So, now this one doesn't have a stick in there, but that's good. Something that suck her up. And this is a plaque of Kurt Angle capturing the World Heavyweight Championship on his, I suppose, Raw debut back in 2006, I suppose. I think it was just before the 2006 Royal Rumble when uh, Kurt Angle was face. Mark Henry, if I'm pretty sure, for the World Heavyweight Championship. That's uh, pretty dope. And it's obviously signed. If you can just see right there, by right, the man Kurt Angles himself. And I'm pretty sure, I think that's it. The other thing is the uh, Supercard. Season 5, right there. Um, please don't message me for it because I plan on using it. I've been using it now. Um, I do think, though, that they should give us something else other than the super card because, you know, let some people still play it. Like myself. <sighs> There's other WWE mobile games that are out there that most people play, like Champions. Or, or even, you know, I think they should give us something a little bit better than, than the Supercard every year. I mean, come on, give it something else. Maybe an extra DLC for the game. Um, but, uh, that is basically it. Now, as a boxer, I'm saying it's a bit lackluster. I mean, compared to the previous year's one, I've had figures, rings, postcards, artwork, and for what it's just i'm feeling that the best thing for me to do with this is just go essentially i mean i'm very disappointed wwe that after all these years of issuing out like 
box set and collector's edition, the best you come up with is this. I mean, it's all very well having a pack of triangle and, you know, piece of the ring skirt from when Brock Lesnar suplexed the big show. Uh, but that is just about it. I mean, like, everybody... I'd be surprised if there's, like, some left. There's probably quite a few left in the store. So, all I'm saying, WWE, is that that game better be good. Because otherwise, I'll be... Well, doing what everyone else does and go to Twitter and bitch and everything. So, you know... But, yeah. So, hopefully, the game will actually make up for the lackluster box set that I got. And I'm hoping that the new online lobby feature will save this, you know, pathetic little video without so unboxing. I should just unbox the rest of them all over again. But anyways, I hope that this will return the WWE games back to its glory games where it was on the 360. Because as good as they are, they were just missing that tiny little bit, which is the online lobbies, I think. And if they manage to pull that off, I think this will probably be the best game, WWE game, we have so far. Well, that really is about it, guys. Thank you for enjoying my video and um, experiencing, well, I say this lackluster version this year. Hopefully, this, as I said, this is probably my last video uh, unboxing. Because if they come out with a one that's even smaller, I'm just not going to get it. No way. No, 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 no. I will probably just get the regular version. Uh, if they come out with a bigger one with actual decent stuff in it, then yeah, maybe I will actually get it. But I'm fearing not. So well, that's about it for me. Um, I'm probably going to do maybe another video seeing how what the... Uh, what the game is like this year um but other than that if you happen to see my lobby join and see if you can beat me or my clan um if you want to hit me up the links are down below on the description and i'll see you guys online